On Monday, we'll have a blog coming up about when you should tweak what you're doing a little bit when it's not working for you. So I was working Izzy yesterday and it was very hard for us to get our goal of four in a row to six and just a little bit more distraction than she had or maybe she was just having a bad day. Um, so we want to start getting Izzy to do 12 sets in a row or three sets of four, four out of five times in a row pretty easily within the minute. So when that's not happening, we know that we need to uh, do something different, especially in distraction. So it's one thing if it happens, if you have like five minutes, she's not doing it. But it's another thing if they're having a really hard time with it because of little brains overloaded and whatnot. Today we have my dogs in the room with us today who Izzy doesn't get to see a lot and so they're very excited. And I changed up the rules a little bit for her um, in that if I have to give her a correction, one correction, I'm giving her a treat. And if I give, have to give her no corrections, I'm acting the same and giving her a treat. Now we warm up, so I'm giving her a treat every fourth one, whether they need one correction or not. Not two corrections or three corrections, because I'm marrying her performance and the correction, the light correction, with a reward to get her attention, get her focused in on what she's doing and not uh, with my dogs walking around or standing there as they know. We have two old dogs and one younger dog on a place right now around Izzy and she's she's very excited because she usually has playmates in here and not dogs that she can't really interact with. And my dogs are old, that's why I don't want a puppy to interact with them and, and annoy them. Um, but they're trained and they're used to having other dogs around them training and they're pretty good working companions for something like this. So I'll start with Izzy. So normally I wouldn't have uh, treats on me at this process of training. And I don't really like to work with treats with dogs when they're six months old. But like I said, when you're not meeting the goal that you have set for yourself, sometimes you have to tweak it because it's going to bring you farther and make your work easier for you. Izzy, let's go. Sit. Good girl. Yes. Not only easier for you, but easier for the dog too. Sit. Good girl. Yes. yesterday after 20 minutes we finally got four in a row um, without needing a correction I won't say or a treat so this one's a little bit different we want to build back up to that goal is it let's go sit good girl yes sit good girl yes Good girl. 
Girl, yes. 